was too close. That human who came in here a while ago almost saw me moving. Noah, are you all right? Yes, sir. What? What happened? Well, some of the little mice and I were playing over there by the door, and all of a sudden the door began to open. I grabbed a couple of the littlest mice and ducked behind the nearest box, but the human caught a glimpse of us, and she said, What was that? Oh, my. But there's no cover behind that box, and no a way out. Uh, the little mice managed to squeeze behind the box, but I had no place to go, so I played possum. So she didn't see you move? No, of course not, Gramps. If she had, I have got, would have gone still. She said, hmm, must have been mice, but what is this puppet doing here? Then she laughed and said, sometimes I wonder if these puppets run around by themselves up here when we're not looking. She put me up on top of the box, and then she got a box of supplies and left. I skedaddled right back here. Noah, do you not understand how serious this could have been? How could you take such a risk? But, but Gramps, I didn't want the humans to hurt the little mice. Mice can avoid humans in cluttered places like this, and they don't go lifeless if seen moving like puppets do. I commend you for trying to protect the little critters, but they'd have been better off hiding by themselves. You risk your life carelessly, and that is absolutely unacceptable. You and the mice must play someplace besides right beside the door. Um, well, you're right, Gramps. I wasn't thinking. You know, this is the first time I ever got into trouble for doing something good. Well, that does seem a little strange. I'll bet Peter and John in the Bible felt the same way when they were arrested for healing a lame man. Wait, they were put in jail for healing a guy? It's in Acts chapters 3 and 4. One afternoon, Peter and John were on their way to the temple to pray, and they noticed a man who'd been lame all of his life. He was brought every day to the temple gate to beg. Oh, well, is that how crippled humans got money back then? Yes, it was fairly common. When Peter and John walked by, the man asked them for money, and Peter said, Look at us. So the man thought that they were going to give him something. But Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He took the man by his right hand and helped him up, and the man's feet and ankles immediately became strong, and he began to walk and leap and jump around and praise God. People recognized him as the lame beggar who'd been at the gate, and they were amazed. Oh, no kidding! What a great thing to do for the poor man! Peter began to preach to them about Jesus, and uh, who had died for them, Wow, that Peter became so bold after Pentecost. Yes, and that made the Jewish leaders really upset. They seized Peter and John and put them in jail. But many people heard the message that day, and the church grew to over 5,000 people. Oh, that's amazing. But the two men got arrested for preaching about Jesus and about for healing the man? Well, what happened to them? Well, they were questioned by the elders and the high priest. And the next morning, uh, Peter spoke up again and said, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a cripple and ask how he was healed, then know this, you and all the people of Israel, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. He also told him that Jesus is the only way for men to be saved. Oh, I'll bet that irritated those leaders. They saw Peter and John's courage and realized that they were simple, uneducated men who had been with Jesus. But what could they say to them? The man who had been healed was standing right there. Oh, that is so great. So the elders sent Peter and John out of the room and talked it over, and then they brought them back, and they commanded them to never, ever teach or speak about Jesus again. 
Oh, no. But Peter and John answered, Judge for yourselves whether it's right in God's sight to obey you rather than God, for we cannot help but speaking about what we have seen and heard. The elders threatened them again and let them go. And they preached the good news of Jesus Christ for the rest of their lives. Yes, they did. Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way. He asked them for arms, and he held out his palms. And this is what Peter did say. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. He went walking and leaping and praising God, walking and leaping and praising God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk.